Welcome back. Let's finish this little guy up. So we are going to be doing Pathfinder and you're just going to notice that things are still separated. So I've got my features on one. We've got our shapes on the bottom here. So what we're going to do first is I just want to get rid of that. And then we're going to start messing around with our order a tiny, tiny bit. So why we've been building is we just want some really, really simple orders, especially within our layers just so things don't get complicated. Especially as we move into the thing I get the most amount of questions on, and that's simply Pathfinder. So if you don't have Pathfinder, just go up to Window, drop down to Pathfinder. Now a lot of these are going to be extremely easy. So let's just crank out some of these first. Now we are pretty much done, we've already aligned so what I need to do for some of these is just ungroup. And what I am looking for is just nothing. It, this, we can keep things nice and clean. So let's just kind of work our way from the back. And then we'll work on forward. And some of these are going to be super easy to deal with. So let's just say I want these two. Oh, that one's still selected. So if they all highlight up, just remember to ungroup. Sometimes we've there's multiple groups, so just pay attention. So we had one group, second group, and then we had them together. So the, usually there is a, a couple times that we have to do it. So I'm going to grab my ear. I'm going to grab my head shape. I'm going to grab the other ear. Notice I'm on the outside shape, so the dark parts. All right, I'm just going to right-click, arrange, and I'm going to send those to back. So it's going to basically look like that. And the really, really easy ones, I think, are the Unite. I think that's a pretty easy one to deal with. And it's just going to merge all of our darks together. So if I select it, you're just going to notice that that outline is now just around those outside shapes. Let's do it again. So we've got our monkey face. And I'm just going to hold down Shift, do the eyeballs. And notice everything is overlapping, by the way. And let's just do it again. I want to unite, and that just becomes one nice big shape. So uniting is really, really easy. I think it's very straightforward. Hey, I want these two shapes merging together, and you're not losing anything. So it's a, it's a pretty easy, straightforward uh, path moving forward. All right. Now we're going to do minus fronts. We're going to do the next one. And when we do our teeth, we will go through and do our intersect. And then the next one is for Pathfinders. I really deal with divide. So when we start to add all of the other ones, I think that is a really, really easy one to start with, especially no matter really what you're doing. So let's just zoom into this ear so you guys can see what we are doing. Now, whenever you do Pathfinder, whenever you do a line, whenever we're selecting, just pay attention to how slow we are because there's a little bit of a thought process. And so as long as you think about it, you're really, really okay. Now let's just do a straightforward approach. Now I want to basically cut this shape out, which is going to show my dark, out of my two. Now if you want to get goofy and say, well, Jason, can't I just grab this and just move it over and call it a day? Yeah, probably. But we're, in, we're not learning Pathfinder then. So what fun is that? So here we go. I want to just cut this out twice. So I want to cut it out of the light pink. I want to cut it out of the dark pink. So I'm just going to do edit copy. Edit paste right there in front. I'm going to color it pink just so you can see that I have two. So I'm going to drag that over. So I have two. So I'm going to select my light pink. I'm going to hold down shift. I've got both of those selected. And I'm just going to minus front. Now here's my old one. Now since we're just, I just want my ear, I don't need this one anymore, I'm not going to duplicate it since it can go away. I'm going to select my dark pink. I'm holding down shift. Minus front. And so you're going to notice that now that shape has my nice little triangle ear shape. So this one's nice and clean. This one's nice and clean. Don't worry, we get to practice again. Space bar moving over. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to cut it out twice. So let's just edit copy. Edit paste in front. All right, so I've got one. 
I've got two. Control Z bit just to move it back. I'm gonna hold down shift so I have my light pink minus front. Remember, I'm not gonna need this one. Hold down shift and just cut that out. All right, so that was nice and easy. And that was just to clean it up. What we're really looking to do, especially in this initial tutorial, is just to kind of understand what are we trying to do. And that was just, we started with the add. Now we're doing minus. Control zero. That is what we're looking at. So all of that is together. Now while we have everyone here, I'm going to select the, oh, let's go light cream. I'm just going to bump up the stroke. I'm going to go right to five. I am going to come over to this right hand side. And what I want to do is if you can't see your options, you want to show options. And what we're going to do is we're going to align this stroke to the outside. So basically monkey sticker is done. So now we basically have to come back through. That looks good. Now we're going to do our features. All right, so let's do the tongue first. I am going to unlock that. Remember, we do have our little white still. So I'm going to click on V. And then I'm just going to unite those. I'm going to come up to the top. I'm going to click minus. Minus is just the delete anchor point. And I'm just going to get rid of that guy. So it'll be nice and flat on the bottom there. Good, that was no problem. All right, let's have some fun with this one. I want this back on top. All right, so let's have some fun here. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm basically looking for this nice white football shape. Let's get rid of our layers. So we're gonna do Intersect and we're gonna do it two different ways. So we're gonna do it one first time with just the teeth and then we're gonna do it with the little the little lines for our teeth. So with the football shape, one, I don't wanna get rid of my black. So what I wanna do is I wanna go Control C, Control F. So that's just paste in front, Pathfinder hot pink. I'm gonna move it away just so you can see what we're doing. Now in the other versions, when we were doing minus front, Notice that we didn't need to keep it. In this one, I don't want to delete my dark shape for the mouth. So I want to duplicate it. And whenever doing some of these pathfinders, just always think that it's typically taking shoot two shapes and it's knocking it down into one. So I have my pink. I'm going to grab my whites. I'm going to come over for intersect. And now I have a nice little football shape. But I want you to just pay attention to that the pink totally went away. So if I grab this one to do it, I would be left with no mouth. So the mistake that most people do, and this is where I see this all the time, is that they just don't duplicate the shape that they're trying to keep. All the Pathfinder stuff was correct, it's just they didn't duplicate it. All right, so let's have some fun. What I wanna do is we're gonna basically duplicate this out. I'm gonna go copy. I'm gonna go paste in front. I'm going to go hot pink. I'm going to just grab it and move it away. I grab and move it away. One, to show me. But just in case, we've got some people that are listening to the rap mu music and don't necessarily listen to the sound. So that's why we do that. I'm grabbing these. Now just pay attention to this. This is where it gets sort of complicated, but it really isn't. Is As long as you see, hey, I've got three different shapes but I, act, I want to do them all at once. What we're really looking to do is do a compound path. Now the compound path will sound complicated and it's just me dropping down the compound path and then I just have to say make. That was it. That was very, very easy. But anytime we do that, all of this is going to be seen as one big shape right now. So grouping, that's just a way for us to select things in an easy fashion. This is, hey, I actually want these shapes being seen as one big thing. So if you ever start cutting and using Pathfinder and shapes are disappearing left and right, just go, oh, I should be doing a compound path. So the little missing link all the time is you've got floating objects. You haven't made it a compound path yet. 
and then you come back and do it. So as, if you can just think, as if I've got m multiple areas or multiple shapes that I want to act as one big thing, then uh, definitely come back and do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold down Shift, and I just need to do my intersect. Bam! Control zero. I'm going to say, let's save this. Some of you are going to say, holy heck, I don't want to do any more Pathfinder. Now, all we're going to do is I'm going to lock this out. We are done with the, the face stuff. That is all done. All we want to do is I'm going to do one more with the Pathfinder, and we're going to call it a day. We'll add some background shape, and that would be it. So let's do, I want to do a highlight, and then I want to do a nice little shadow. So with our ellipse, I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt. I'm just going to drag that out. I do not want to see a fill. And what I'm looking at is this top little piece. Okay. All right, so let's explain what we're doing here. To be honest, they don't need to be a perfect circle. So I'm looking at this top little piece right here. And then just pay attention to that they are overlapping. I think that'll be the easiest way of doing it. Now I'm going to go back to my handy dandy little scissor tool. And I'm just going to cut out these little, this little back part. So just make sure you're, it does say path. And I just sometimes have to delete. And I still have that there. If you think it's easier to see with a pink line and then snip and then get rid of it, that is absolutely fine. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the divide. This is one of the easiest ones to work with. There's a few little, little marks, but instead of it all happening, so remember we had to copy things, we had to do all of that stuff. This one, it just basically does a nice little cut, and then you get to figure out what you want to get rid of. So I'm going to hold down shift. I'm selecting my shape, by the way. I'm going to come back and just do divide. Now, while it is still selected, little, little tidbit is it does group it. So after I do Pathfinder, it does group it. I want to ungroup. I'm going to come over here where it's white. I'm just deselecting. And now I should just notice that it's got a nice little highlight going just around my highlight. And I'm going to color that guy up. Now why we did our little scissor tool is just so we don't snip all the way through it. It's really not a big deal, but so you notice that these little, you got these little hang, hanging out. If I didn't do the scissor tool, I would have a big giant pink line going through my face. Since I don't want that, I'm just going to come up and unite, and that'll actually just connect those things back together. Let's come back over here. Now just pay attention to what just happened. I basically cut it. Now I got to choose what I want. So I'm just coloring it, but if this actually works if I'm deleting things, anything like that, it'll do the exact same thing. We might do in a little sample afterwards. I am holding down shift. I do not want that filled. And I am just going to have this. Let's see where I want it to start. Maybe that'll be easier. All right, so I want this up at the top. So I'm just looking at this outside shape, by the way. Do another one. So I'm just doing an ellipse. And then where do I want that one to hit on the bottom? I'm just looking at this shape over here. And I want that to just overlap on the bottom there. Okay, now let's just make our lives easy. Pretty much anywhere over here by the eyeball. And just so it doesn't give a big giant snip all the way through my face, I'm just going to come over here. And I just want to delete that out. All right. I want to just grab anywhere over here. So as long as it's on the inside of my line, you should be absolutely fine. I'm going to just come over here and I'm just going to, I'm on C, scissor tool, snip. All right. Now we will get some other little strays, and I just want you to see that these big giant circles would do the same thing. No biggie. So I'm grabbing one. I'm holding down shift. 
And I'm going to just come over here and I'm holding still shift. And I want to grab my face shape, pathfinder, divide. And all that's doing is just anything that's overlapping any shape, it's just going to create its own little shapes. Remember the little trick is to ungroup. And then the other little tidbit is to deselect. And then I should just be able to come over here. Let's just control zero so you can see what we just did. And then I'm just going to be able to color in my, my shadow. Now, if I hover over my face shape, you're going to notice that I have those little snips. So if I have it selected, I can just say unite and those little snips go away. So if I have a, just a solid shape, let's just do some so you can see kind of how this plays out. If I grabbed them all and hit divide, it looks like nothing happens, right? All I do is go ungroup, I deselect, and I have control over what is deleted now. So this one I like a lot, especially for beginners, just because you basically can just cut and then say, hey, I don't want to, I can now cut and do whatever I want. So this works for minus front, this works for pretty much anything that's gonna be cutting away. This works beautifully for, you have control. The only tidbit, remember, is to ungroup, deselect, and then you can come back and then basically do everything. So I really like divide a lot. So this one will work for pretty much all of those. It'll pretty much work for all of these as well. And you just have control. All of these I barely, rarely use. So don't even worry about them if you don't know what they do. All right. File save. Let's add a background and we can call it a day. Man, that was easy. You guys are like, I have a very different answer for you, Jason. All right, let's just do that. We might need to double check we're on the right layer. I want to be on my shapes, by the way. And then I'm just, so I just cut it. I'm going to go control B. B is send to back, by the way. Color it pink. I don't have a little stroke. Done and done. Save, save, save. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We are done with our monkey.